Okay, I'm going to make a short video of installing this winch. This was my old Harbor Freight winch, and it still works. The bolts are a little different, but the cable got all ratted up. And I could buy another cable for it, but it was just kind of underpowered, so I supersized it. And the difference is, none of the new ones bolt up like that. So let me show you what I got and how I installed it with the new one. Okay, this is how where I installed my old one. And basically I've cut a little hole in the thing there and installing the roller. So basically the old one just bolted right to this old plate. Well, the new one here doesn't bolt up like that. You have to bolt it to this plate that it comes with. So, what I did is I went in and drilled my own holes for them. So basically, even though this is bolted to that, now I'm going to take this and bolt it right here. I've already drilled out these holes to fit. And basically, I just put an I-beam in here and put some U-bolts. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's got two U-bolts holding it through the frame, and that seems to work pretty good. So that's what I got. So let me bolt that up and then I'll show you one more picture of it. All right, that's what it looks like completed. Got the bolts going through there. I put some little spacers. This bolt up in the front, I had to use a quarter inch instead of five sixteenths. There's some weird metric ones that I had laying around for the old bracket. I got the positive and negative hooked back up. I just used the old controller. And I used a couple bolts. I had to custom cut that one short so that would clear. Kind of a pain. And there you go. That's that hooked up on the trailer with the guide. And basically, that's the way it looks kind of hidden back there. So that keeps it hidden inside. There you go. The battery sits right there on the boards and keep all your crap. A couple buckets in there to hold all your straps. That's a little short video of how I installed the Harbor Freight. That one is a 5000 series. It's got a automatic release there and the controller is pretty much the same controller this one so I just kept the old one on there up and down pretty simple there you go